All right. Um, I'm making a quick video because when I initially got this graphics card, this Radeon RX 580, I was having stuttering issues. I went over all over the web, uh, and forums and YouTube videos and tried to figure out what it was. Uh, and it took a while to do so. So this was my, um, my, uh, my fix. I don't, I know there was others. I saw some that had to do with the displays uh, that you could override and then, oh no, wrong display. You can override and uh, disable this, except I don't use HDMIs and that's what I or I read that uh, this is for. If you were to disable it, this could help your stuttering, except this had nothing to do with my issue. Um, my issue with this RX 580 was specifically, it was uh, apparently, um, it's over -volted. So let me show you what I mean. So this happened initially with the older AMD software. Um, and then when I got the new one, or when I updated, it reset everything and I had the issue again. It took me a while to redo it. And then I, I remember what I did. Um, and I realized that there really isn't anything online. There, there I think there's a, one video that, that helped me out. Um, and uh, hopefully this one will get a little more recognition if needed. Um, so ignore all this. This uh, I do because some of the, some of the games get hot, and well, this this graphics card gets hot, and some of the games make it get hot. So I have this custom set to me. Forget about this just for a second. Um, the only thing I want you to focus on right now is this GPU tuning. So initially, when you go into this, this it will go. It will take you to your metrics. Uh, if you go to tuning, this will be set to automatic. Um, if you're having the issue that I'm having, I recommend you go to manual. Um, and I have the MSI RX 580, yeah, the MSI RX 580 8 gigabyte. Um, I don't know if it's overclocked. I'll probably put it in the description, so I'll let you know. Um, but this right here, these were the settings, uh, this voltage and this uh, frequency frequency settings were what helped me out. So I had, initially this was at 366, and this is the only one you need to change when it comes to the frequency, because this is where it hits when you're, you know when you're maxing out a, a a game or something um so it's initially at 1366 and the reason you're able to even overclock the frequency is simply because the voltage was so high i guess i, I honestly I couldn't tell you but all i know is that the fact that you lower the voltage makes a higher frequency more stable but if you were to Try to let's say try to um put the frequency up higher even though you didn't lower the voltage i'm almost sure you'll start crashing so for about an hour or two i was testing on benchmarks and uh mostly on fortnite because when i would get on fortnite every time i would render something new or uh for example i'd be running forward and i'd look back i'd get this extreme stutter it was like it, it showed no fps drops and that was the that was the weird thing to me um it like it would be at 60 for i have a 60 frame cap and then it would show 60 frames and that's it and then i would turn around and it would just stutter like crazy and it didn't feel like a stutter like a like a frame drop so these are the settings i came down to 1050 on the voltage any lower i swear to god any lower <laughs> um won't won't work uh any lower than this on the voltage won't work it uh, you'll start to get like blue screens all green screens you'll start crashing uh i crashed like five times when i lowered this too much and then i crashed another like eight times when i tried going higher than 1400 you can go lower than 1400 but i went up to even 1415 and it started crashing it started giving me like all blue screens stuff started flying everywhere it was very weird <laughs> um so don't go any uh any lower or any higher than 1400 on the frequency the voltage i mean yeah you can go up higher and you can go up to 1150 but you you might get that stutter that i'm getting now my specs um let me go to my specs so currently i, I through the forms that i was reading and through um the youtube videos that i saw like the one or two that i saw on this issue I didn't see anyone's CPU be being a uh, an issue. I did see that I do know that my CPU it bottlenecks a lot of my uh, GPU. I actually have 
uh, an R5 3600 coming in tomorrow. Um, but forget about this right now. <laughs> um, just because I really, I really don't think the CPU matters. If it does, I mean, then that means you're probably getting stutters because your CPU is um, bottlenecking your GPU. But I feel like this is a strictly GPU issue, and and it's uh, it's it's just that up. Is it in the gaming? Yeah. And it, it's just that um, oh no, it's under air performance. It's just that uh, it, it's overclocked or it's overvolted. It has too much too much voltage, and it just it stutters. I don't exactly know why. I don't know what the technical terms would be. But I know that this is what helped me out. Um, now my card runs hot, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, uh, especially with games like Modern Warfare. Um, so I tend to raise the second markup over what is this? So whenever I hit over seventy degrees Celsius, it usually starts to drop frames. So I put the fan speed to eighty-five. I don't know what it is stock. I didn't even look at it, but. You guys, I don't know if you want another. If you want a video on this, I could I could explain that. But this is what helped me with the RX 580 um, stuttering issue, and I, I hope it helped you guys as much as it helped me.